quick unboxing of the new DJI mic that coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Ryan. On this channel, we do a lot of tips, tricks, and reviews, mostly drone and photography related. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing, it's greatly appreciated. As mentioned in the intro, today we're gonna be doing a quick unboxing of the new DJI mic system. We will be having additional tutorials and reviews coming up shortly. So just a disclaimer, DJI did not provide this for me. I purchased it with my own funds. Uh, any reviews that you hear from me will be my honest opinions. I did order this at the beginning of the week. It took about four days to come via UPS. It was shipped from their California warehouse. It did not come directly from China, so I received it fairly quickly. All right, so this is the DJI mic system. This is the box it comes in. They claim a 250 meter transmission range. Uh, it has dual channel recording. You can see it has one receiver and two transmitters. Uh, up to 14 hours of onboard memory. Uh, it says portable and compact and has a wide compatibility range and 15 hours of battery life. All right, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. There is a zip strip on the bottom to be able to open it. There is a list of what you get in the box. You get the charging case, a receiver, two transmitters, a carrying pouch, hot shoe adapter, two windscreens, a mobile phone adapter lightning, mobile phone adapter type C, uh, camera audio cable, three and a half millimeter TRS, uh, instruction manual, two clip magnets, and a charging cable. First thing we pull out is a box that has in it the carrying case you have your three and a half millimeter TRS cable you have a USB-C charging cable a windscreen another dead cat style windscreen your instruction manual and your warranty. All right, so we'll put the carrying case aside. That's all that's inside that. Now here is the mic system. So there is the entire case. There is USB-C charging port on the back and you open it up and you have, looks like everything automatically comes on when you open the case, that's handy. Here are your two transmitters, transmitter one and transmitter two. And here is your receiver. Looks like you automatically are greeted with the language of choice. We will pick English. Oh, you just hit the next arrow, it looks like. And then you are, your date, today is April 9th. And next, and setting the time, it is currently 2.55, doesn't say AM or PM, but all right, so that is set up. You also have your lightning port adapter and your USB-C port adapter. And then lastly, this is your hot shoe mount. All right, so let's take a look at the receiver first. Of course, on the front that you saw earlier, we do have that touch screen. On the side, you have a power button. You hold it down for just a few seconds, one, two, three, to turn it on. Now, obviously right now, since the uh, receivers are in the charging cradle, they are not on. The second you pull one out, you'll see that that channel lights up. Pull out the other one, and channel two lights up as well. 
Working our way around, we do have a USB-C port on the back. You do have the uh, adapter connection point, and these are the charging pads for when it is in the charging uh, case. On this side, you have an output and a headphone output. So if you were going to install this on a regular camera, uh, like a DSLR similar to a, say, a Sony, we would just use inside the case, we have the hot shoe connection. To install the hot shoe adapter, you need to I'll put this down. You need to pull out this spring-loaded section here, this little piece, and it simply slides into the back from the bottom up. All right, and then there is that hot shoe adapter. Uh, it should go with the screen facing you. Looks pretty nice. Now obviously you would take your output, your cable from the output, and then it would go into your mic input. And then when you power on, test, test, test. It is in stereo mode right now, so it's using both microphones. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So there is channel two. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. There's channel one. All right, so now if you want to connect it to the DJI Action 2, uh, it's fairly straightforward. I'm gonna take off the take off the hot shoe adapter, put that back and we will get out the USB-C adapter. So with the USB-C adapter, they always slide in this direction. So this is the bottom, this is the top of the DJI logo. Um, simply slide it in just like that. And you saw the plug come on the screen. And then you simply install it just like that into your battery or your screen mod. And we will go ahead and turn this on. And there it is. You see that we have a microphone logo. Let me go ahead and turn this this way. You have our microphone logo on there. So you can see that we do have our external mic going. All right, so just after using this for just a short amount of time, I do recommend locking this screen. You can see that when I touch it now, it says press the button to unlock it. All you do is simply unlock it. I've noticed even when this is plugged in on the top of your, um, like your digital SLR camera, even your forehead touching it can cause it to want to do something. Um, so normally you just swipe down from the top to get the menu up where you can adjust all your settings. What If you're on in stereo mode, uh, you can change your receiver gain, your volume uh, for your headphone output. You can go into your settings. Uh, you can get vibration notifications. Uh, you can link a device, transmitter gain, brightness of the screen, change your language, change your date and time, reset to factory settings. You can see your version information shows you what firmware you're on and then information for compliance info with your model number etc so if you do hit that power button it will lock your screen and then you cannot do anything accidentally so normally you would hit the unlock button to access your menus you just do a swipe down uh, swipe up it will show you your memory settings volume on and off or mute on and off. Shows you your memory, you have 15 hours. You can record, stop and start recording audio. So that concludes this quick unboxing of the new DJI mic system. We will be doing a full review and some tutorials on this here in the near future, so consider subscribing. We appreciate that. So that's it, film safe, fly safe, and bye for now.